Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company. And you might recall back in August of last year, my boat got hit from behind by a car from someone who was allegedly texting while driving. Well, uh, long story short, the insurance company took a look at it. Too much damage, they wrote the boat off. So that was the bad news. The good news was, now I'm in the market for a new boat. And when you're looking for a new boat, there's a couple of things you want to definitely make sure you look at. One, if you're buying a new boat, make sure the boat has absolutely everything that you want. Uh, and secondly, you want to make sure that you're dealing with a good, reputable marina. So for me, 10 years ago, I went to Proctor Marine in Simcoe. I went right back to Proctor Marine again. Those guys got just outstanding customer service. They really look after you before the sale, during the sale, after the sale. Their customer service is second to none. And what I really like about them is that they really care. Your problems are their problems and they will actually go out of their way to help you. So for me, definitely worth the drive to Proctor Marine. And you know, in my case, I had some restrictions with my garage. I had a, a length restriction and I also had a height restriction. So the folks at Proctor went to work for me and for the height restriction, they got me a trailer that sits nice and low to the ground. They form fitted it for me, saving every inch that they possibly could. And I got a removable windshield uh, on the boat. So needless to say, my boat just fits nicely into my garage. And for the length, I got a nice swing tongue on the trailer, which saves me tons of room in the front. And what I like about this trailer, they picked me out one that it swings right at the nose of the boat. So I'm really minimizing the amount of room that I need in my garage. So that was really, really good. So then as far as the boat, I looked at uh, some that were somewhat expensive, some that were less expensive. And the one I ended up buying was right up the middle. 10 years ago, I bought a Key West. I bought another Key West. It was in my budget. And you know what? It's got everything that I want in a boat. Lots of room, lots of storage. Um, and no wood construction so everything's fiberglass it's easily maintained they can wash it right down maintenance free i really really like that and um, the other thing i like i went with the center council boat and that style boat is a great style i don't know why we don't see more of those boats here in freshwater but i really really like it because it's very versatile i've got nice casting platforms in the front Nice casting platforms in the back. It's got a nice cockpit area. If it gets a little bit rough, you could tuck in and, and still fish. So that's really handy. And uh, of course you could walk around the boat. So center council boats, they're great for big lakes. You can fish small lakes, you can fish river systems. And of course, you've got the option to go salt water. So I really, really like uh, that versatility with the center council boat. And you know what folks? It was sad to see my old boat go. There was a lot of great memories in that old boat. But now the exciting part is I'm looking forward to sharing great memories with my new boat, sharing them with you, our viewers, our subscribers. I want to thank you ever so much for tuning in to Thundermist Fishing Tips. We'll have a lot more fish catching action coming your way, so stay tuned. And until next time, good luck and good fishing.